okay, I'll just plug on. I went 31 seconds over my time, probably my video rejected. So YouTube's turning out to be a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, so, so here are the questions, the logical questions or logical extensions from what I've just talked about. Could it be the set of modules I have installed? Could the differences between the modules that were loaded up in my now gone Ubuntu 10.04 and the still remaining 10.04 been enough to, to require me to do those additional steps to get sound to work? Could that have been the difference? Um, could it be that I had different sets of multimedia software installed between the two uh, versions of Ubuntu that somehow allowed that connection to be made for Java on one and not the other? Could it be that I had a newer browser in one and not the other, and that the browser had a bug? You know, so the question is, do, do is it the driver? Could the drivers have changed between 10.04 and 10.10, whereas you know, break something else? The, the only fact that I have is that I know I have the same version of Sun Java installed. I'm not even sure if I have the same version of OpenJDK. So all these things are very common. Could it be also Pulse Audio? Could it be the drivers? Could it be G-Screamer? Um, so how am I going to approach this? The only way I can really approach this is to go into the working version of Ubuntu and to change one of these variables one thing at a time and, and look at the resulting impact on um, the Bloom Bounce game while I'm in there. And once I know, okay, I've removed this version, this part of the Open JDK. Now, sounds gone. I'm going to put it back. Now it's there. Okay, that's great. But also, I've learned from um, my first presentation, whereas um, removing three programs and renaming one file created a positive result. <laughs> That didn't create a positive result in the other one. It was necessary, so it's not just doing that. Now it's cross. You have to cross uh, to really find out what's going on. You have to cross these different very cross test these different variables. If I have the sound PCM OSS driver loaded, and I have OpenJDK installed, will the sound work? If I have the sound driver loaded and the OpenJDK uninstalled, will the sound work? If I have just the OpenJDK but not the driver installed, will the sound work? But then you have to add to that. Pulse Audio, Tree Streamer, Alza. Okay? So you've got six different variables in there. Under what conditions will desire result, desirable result actually be produced? Once all that testing is done, and now we're talking about 25, I don't know how many tests, it could be in the hundreds of tests to take place because I have to, if I was to do a proper test just for Pulse Audio with Pulse in place, I have to add the OpenGDK, take the OpenGDK out, add the GStreamer, take the GStreamer out, add the ELSA, take the ELSA out. Okay, now I can narrow this down because without having the absence of, you know, if you take Alza out, you're probably not going to have a sound system at all. That, that, that's my conclusion. You can, I know you can have a sound system with Pulse not being there at all, or at least you used to. So I could try removing all the Pulse and see if I still have a basic sound system, and then what the impact of that is on the game. And of course, if it has a negative impact on the game, I could put Pulse back in. I probably will anyway for some of the other tests. Then I'll see how OpenGDK works with Pulse in and with Pulse out not in, <laughs> but also with um, um, LiveJ sound renamed and not renamed. You know, all these different things. So th this could be a very huge set of tests to take place. but. Um, the only way to get answers, or you want to know just exactly, you'd be able to get your hands on some documentation, exactly what is going on, what is what is Java, what exactly does Java need as input to be able to, pr to produce sound. 
Now, if we think about it, what happened is when you go to Pogo, you you're running Firefox and the Java, you know, and also with different versions of Firefox, all these different tests. But getting back to my point here is, after you go into um, to Pogo, the browser is a part of allowing the, the the Java application to run. The browser itself allows the Java application to run, right? And then there are different programs that interact with the browser to pass the sound from the browser to the to the Java game, right? And so so it's just a matter of what's what.